Right then. Oh, hello, you beautiful bastards. How are we doing? <laughs> Universal meme there. Mer <laughs> Fucking Meridia's beacon. <laughs> Good stuff. How's everyone doing, chat? Are we doing okay? Welcome back to U Boat. Hopefully, everybody's getting nestled and settled here. I just find an appropriate volume level. To be fair, the only appropriate volume for U Boat is just 120% volume. Ear rape levels. Right, so uh, welcome everybody back to um, not quite hardcore U Boat. Or, well, I say welcome back, welcome to the start of not quite hardcore U Boat. We're going to go, we're going to go friendly. Friend, hardcore friend, noob friendly, hardcore. It doesn't roll off the tongue. It doesn't roll off the tongue. It's really bad. Um, but yeah, basically, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing something called manual aim um, or hardcore aiming. Um, I hope I'm not going to be shit at it, but we'll see. Mr. Meme, what was the meme? What meme, Tacitus? What meme? I needed this stream this evening. No worries, Emily Snow. Good to see you in. How are you doing, my love? Are you okay? I say I look like Hitler. Hello, you beautiful bastards. <laughs> that's the one. Hardcore light. Yes, that's the one. Good stuff. This is going to be hilarious. Yeah, I, I think so. Well, one of the things that I was noticing, right, is that with you both with regards to the, like, it was how we've been playing you both so far, basically third-person FTL kind of thing, um, is that once the torpedo calculations are high enough 99% of the time you land your hit right so my thinking now is like this basically with we had shit loads of money we got like 200,000 credits we've fully upgraded the U-boat we'd done everything literally everything right so now it's a case of trying to artificially increase the difficulty of the game uh, by adding me to the equation uh, in terms of actual, li literally adding me to the equation, get, make, getting me to do torpedo uh, data calculations, which um, because I am a human and I also happen to be Joe Brown, um, Mr. Q Bear, I am going to make mistakes. Um, so it's basically artificially increasing the difficulty through manual torpedo calculation more likely to cock up, more likely to make mistakes, having to use more torpedoes to sink targets, and that should overall balance our crazy high, uh, I was going to say credit score, <laughs> but yeah, that should that should keep it relatively uh, relatively balanced. Uh, along the Quebec, you miss a shot, uh, sorry, you miss with a shotgun at 10 metres, how do you think that you're going to be able to aim at a ship with a torp? at five kilometers away. It won't quite be five kilometers. Uh, really sort of one, maybe two at extreme range, but one for the most part. Um, so yeah, we're just waiting for people to filter on in and then we'll be uh, rocking and rolling. I'm hoping to do reasonably well. This is really just a test to see how shit I, <laughs> see how shit I am at the game. Um, somebody convinced me to maybe not, uh, so to basically play in hardcore by essence, but not literally loading hardcore and so basically in the same way like on XCOM we play Iron Man in principle but we don't select Iron Man mode in case there's bugs with the save or something like that um, I know for example the last mission where you fight the elders on XCOM 1 uh, the door could sometimes bug out after one person went in and then it would close behind you so you had to use one of your guys to kill three fucking elders and it was always fucking terrible um, so yeah basically what we're doing is we're doing we're going to do I think full hardcore, or we could do hardcore in principle, as we call it, um, as I'm now calling it, which is where we do have the aim assist on, but we basically don't use it, essentially. Save bugs? Unheard of, I know. Will Q fuck himself? That is like a total yes. 8-Ball knows what's up. It's not too hard with the tools provided in the game, you just need to use it correctly. Um, I mean... We tried using it the other day, and I managed to land a successful torpedo hit, so I mean, uh, we'll see. We'll see how bad I am. If nothing else, me missing a shitload of sh like shots oh, is going to be a yeah. good time to try and, you know, get me to learn the mechanics of the game, basically. 
Long time no see, Mr. Lanther Murloc. Good to see you in, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Do feel free to buckle on in. We're going to be choosing some crew here. I've decided that I'm going to start right at the start of the war. Uh, for the people who were in the last U-boat stream, 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 I just generated like a U-606, I think it was. But I think I'm going to go all the way to the start with U-96. Just so it's a bit easier on Uncle Joe. Because I, I, I have no doubt that I'm going to make an absolute balls up of this. So... Let's drag you over to the second monitor. Let's load U-Boat up. Now, unlike most of the other missions, because I'm actually going to be there on board making some torpedo calculations, I reckon it's probably a good idea to have me come along for the journey. So, old Cat and Q, like Cold Waters, old Thomas Chesterson's coming at it again. Let's have a look. I click this button and this button. Yeah, as again, rare treat. I'm going to a. Uh, I'm going to let you load the save here. So, U-96. One of the first Type 7C U-boats, U-96, launches in Kiel. Does it? Launches in Kiel. Leaving its home port behind, it completes a very successful patrol on the Atlantic, which it manages to sink seven Allied freighters in two convoys. Fucking, that's like... Uh, we used to do at least that uh, on an average patrol. Uh, U-96 now arrives at the French ports in the Atlantic from where its crew will continue a promising career. Skippers amongst themselves call the current period the happy times because the Allies don't seem ready for the fight against modern U-boats, which is fantastic. Mr. Raven Chef, you amazing man. You totally broke me last night with that stellar raid. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No worries, Raven Chef. You're more than welcome, as always. Happy to help out those... Small indie streams where I began. It's where I began, friend, playing Monstrum. Ugh. Also, we've been going for nine minutes and there's 240 people here, which is just like in a sound effect. So, yeah, U96. What we're going to do is we're going to go next and we're going to select our difficulty. Now, um, we're going to go with normal save mode and we're going to go with the nautical terminology. We're locking it into first person only, uh, which means we will not be able to take advantage of various functions in third person. I have no idea how that is going to affect damage control. So, for example, if a compartment floods. I have no idea how that works. I can only hope that it's going to work reasonably well. I, I truthfully have no idea, though. Uh, I could go with darker nights. Use this option to make nights darker. Use of a flashlight and a searchlight may be mandatory for exterior areas. I don't know whether... Do, I, do we want to go with darker nights, chat? I don't want to go with collision damage, because apparently it works really badly. We're going to hide the uh, hit... We're going to hide the detection hint. So we don't know whether we've detected someone. We've just got to find them the old-fashioned way. And then we can go from there. Damage control will suck. Is that right? So hardcore aiming. I think I'm going to go with hardcore aiming. You've already cut, cut your knees off doing the calcs yourself, it's true. That's going to be AIDS. What, the, uh, the, the Darker Nights thing? We've already got manual item delivery, which is going to make things a lot slower, but that's, you know, realistic. I, I think for the sake of having to show chat something... We will not go with Darker Nights. So we'll, we'll leave that off just so we can see stuff. Don't do third party only. What what does third party only mean? Go for Darker Nights. It's just going to be very, very dark. Jesus. No worries. I'm just waiting to see what uh, oh, Heady Pilot there yeah. says. Mr. Woodscrap, long time no see, sir. 14 months. Don't do Darker Nights, okay. Once you go black, so something, something, something. Right, okay, we'll leave Darker Nights off, and then we'll go from there. Sorry, third person... Sorry, third person only view. No, we'll go third... We're going to go first person only. We'll do first person only. I could leave hardcore aiming off... No, I'm going to leave hardcore aiming on, because I want to learn how to do manual TDC. Give myself a bit of a challenge. So, Darker Nights is off. Realistic bilge, earth curvature, manual item delivery, collision damage is off. Hardcore aiming mode on, and hide detection hint is off as well. We've got to be careful. Pull your socks up and be brave, that's it. Let us rock and roll. It's dark enough in the long dark. Let us see this game, at least. True. So let me load in here. So, old cat and Q... Obviously, already with my captain's cap, such as it is there. Old Q skipper. Let's see what officers' uniforms I can get my hands on. Literally could have anything here. This tends to be the one I go to. I love me a turtleneck, because I'm a loser. 
Right, let me also, as keeping with pedigree, get myself a set of round glasses as well. That'll do me very nicely. So we'll rock and roll with this for now. And then we are old Captain Q. Captain Q. Captain Q Beck. Let's go with that. Good old skipper. And this is going to be me. We're going to go out on the boat. And then we're going to get our auxiliary crew members chosen. And then we'll go from there. The classic Das Boot look. That's the one. New run? Yes, new run, Wood Scrap. Basically, we've started a new run because of the fact that the old run, we basically won. Like, we had 200,000 credits, researched everything, unlocked everything, we'd bought everything and still had 200,000 credits left over. At that point, I'm just playing until death. Like, there, it's presenting no challenge at that point, really. So, yes, here we are on first-person U-boat here. Excellent stuff. So one of the things that I need to do straight away here is we need to get our auxiliary crew members uh, named and ready to go. So if I can here, let's get people all named and ready. Um, can I get a volunteer to be my first mate, please? I need someone on board who is going to help me in the day-to-day -day running of the submarine here. Let's have a look. Hello, social system. Good to see you, mate. How be ye, sir? How be ye? Let me get some volunteers on. Let's go with... I think I can fit into a sub. Oh, do you know what? We're going we're gonna to buy us. Social system. Welcome on board, sir. You're going to be my first mate. He's a leader. He is a leader. Right, so oh, we're going to be our first mate there. So we're going to leave you there. Let us switch over to our, ra this is our radio operator. No, that's our diesel engine specialist. So we're going to go with this guy. We need our chief engineer, please, chat. Um, who are we going to have in the chief engineer slot? Who's going to be this handsome chap here? This beautiful bit. This should, this should have been social, to be fair. Beautiful bearded man. Let's take a look. Who is going to be old Hermann Oldorp? Apologize, 20 Germans in. Let's go with Murloc or uh, Mr. Lantham Murloc. Let's go with Murloc for short. Welcome on board, sir. You are going to be our lovely, happy chappy. Now, you're not really going to be going up on the top deck, so you don't need a heavy-duty jacket. Let's get you in oh, a green thing like that. Yeah. And as the chief engineer, you are going to be having an officer's cap as well. Uh, there we go. Officer's cap, chief engineer. Very, very nice, sir. Welcome on board, Murloc. Then our... I think what was it? so that guy's this guy looks like our mechanic that's oh, right so our chief mechanic yeah. we're gonna get rid of the officer's cap on him because you are not wearing that sir you look positive you look like a pharaoh's testicle my friend stay the hell away from that mr jeepers murphy thank you very much and gaming nerd oh go on we'll take gaming nerd that is sub bias chat that is sub bias right there you saw it here first uh let's go with uh we'll just we'll just call you nerd for short but it is gaming nerd good to have you in um, let's change you up again. You're not really going above. Oh, positively disgusting. We'll get you in like a fleece there. I want to make you look less like a pharaoh's testicle. If I can, if I can help it. Complexion. I've been punched in it. Where his eyes? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Nope. Nope. Staying away. Go from that. We get some of that. Should we go some of that airy and action on there? There we go. Lovely. Welcome on board there, nerd. You are our engineer, or our chief mechanic here. Or, uh, sorry, not chief engineer, but you are our mechanic. And then, last but not least, we need our radio operator. Let's take a look at this lovely gentleman, Mr. Hans Jürgen. Again, don't need to be wearing such a heavy-duty jacket, my friend. You're just uh, chilling out below decks here. Don't even really need any of this, this shit on. Beautiful. Let's go with that. Right then, can I get a volunteer for this lovely gentleman here, radio operator? Can I go with... I had a job in communications. We'll take Emily then. Emily, welcome on board. You are going to be... Uh, you got more of... I imagine you've got more of a beard in game than you do IRL, Emily. <laughs> so I, almost certain, in fact. So yes, this is our crew for the U96 operations during, I think, 1939, 1940, I believe, we're operating out of. So one of the things that I want to do is switch back to the skipper, old Captain Quebec. Here is our crew. The names will change as we sort of save and load. But let us leave this position. Just want to make sure the names... Be there we go. Social system, Captain Quebec. Right. One of the things that we want to do is we want to go down the ladder and we want to go and talk to the recruitment officer. 
new station just here and then we want to take a look at some of the stuff that we're loading on board today let's get uh, old uh, let's see we'll get fellow me lad over here loading up torpedoes get two people to help you loading up torpedoes there for us nerd mr. gaming nerd we'll go from there just a second I've got a knock at the door I'm being asked if I want anything from the supermarket. Yes, this is all first person there, glorified ice pick. We are in a locked in first person mode. So one of the things that I want to do is I'm just going to reshuffle the crew in terms of their crew position. So let's uh, uh, choose the crew for the next assignment. We want to unselect everyone. Then leave, then reselect people. We want to get um, social system second. We want to get Emily third. Then we want to go Murloc the Nerd, and then like that, and then goodbye, and then there we go. Everybody should be in the right spot there. Lovely stuff, everybody coming on board. There, oh my god, what a serious face. Excellent stuff, going to get all buttoned up yeah, and what? ready to go, which is perfect. Captain Quebec, let's talk uh, with the... Uh, the guy that deals with the re resupply and replenishment of the submarine and stuff. How are we doing in terms of torpedoes? Torpedoes are still being loaded up. Murloc, can you come and give him a hand, maybe? With regards to that? I don't know whether you can. Doesn't look like it for the moment. Can I change you over to, like, a mechanic or something? Managing the diesels at the moment. Can't seem to get you on torpedo duty as well. Let's see, nerd. There we go. Nerd, take a couple of people with you to help with the loading of the torpedoes, and then we can figure out what we need in the stores. Don't worry, the crew will get there. Right, manual mode. Leave position. And then we'll go over here. Not too bad. I'm sure it's just his Uber Eats, yeah. Opening the hatch is always worth it, that's the one. So yes, U96 is what we're operating on today. Let's go and... Uh, just take a jog inside. I can control certain elements of the submarine from here, which is nice. Uh, things like speed, heading, course, and so on. We need to make sure we're on the ship, though. And we need to make sure we get a mission. Let us talk to the gentleman just here, Mr. Hans Fischer of the Warehouse. Let's see what we can take on board in terms of supplies. Show me what you've got. Now, in terms of torpedo loading, we are currently in the process of loading several T1s. I do have some T2s ready to go, but I'm probably going to maintain T1s for the most part. Uh, if I can for us, can I just quickly switch to Murloc, get you to leave this position, and I get you up front loading torpedoes as well. I might get you into the stern to load the rear torpedo if that's okay. Not turn on the air compressor, just shimmy around you. Manage torpedo tube. Let's load up this T2 in the rear tube here. You should be alright to do that yourself, sir. Targeting site, leave position. Right, not too bad. How does this compare to Silent Hunter? Well, we'll find out. The actual game is a bit more arcadey in its makeup. It's not quite as hardcore, but hopefully mods will change that as we go. So yeah, we're just waiting for various torpedoes to be loaded here. I believe we're now working on Tube 2, which is fantastic. You've got all of your auxiliary crew members helping with that. Murloc is in the rear here, just greasing up the torpedo. And we're just waiting up here for stuff to be ready here. We're just going to set ourselves as unassigned, just for the moment, so that we don't keep walking off. Uh, it basically, if I have an assigned job, then it will keep trying to put me in that space. So if I stay unassigned, it won't get me doing anything. Just realise, no more Dave. I know Dave. Dave's moved on. He's uh, retired to another submarine. We're sitting here just waiting to get supplies and food on board. I might sort that out. Let's take a look at what we can get. Right, now we barely have any budget. We've only got 6,000. In terms of fuel, let's top up. 10 credits. Food is okay. Scrap's okay. Imagine a large amount of our budget is going to be going on torpedoes, but again, what can you do? All of these are being loaded in good time. We've nearly got all four. This should be tube four loaded. I think it's probably more like tube three, though. Kind of loaded that many that quickly. Flat gun doesn't have much ammunition in it. I'm not really at the liberty to buy a shitload of stuff because of the fact that I need to load up on torpedoes and then see what my budget is like afterwards. Because we are definitely hurting for the old budget. We don't have much of that. We've got to go and earn our keep, sadly. We'll just wait in here. 
Let's check on Nerd here. How are you doing, son? He is trying, bless him. Release your additional crew member and then add him. There we go. That's jumped up the speed a little bit. Get that all oiled up, lads. Get that loaded in. That is tube three that's being loaded, which is nice. Just got everybody chilling out, doing their own things for the moment, which is awesome. How's Murloc doing in the rear torpedo tube? It is very nearly loaded. Nice one, Murloc. Might get you up the front to deal with the last torpedo tube as well, if you don't mind doing that for me, sir. That would be fantastic. We can then load up the rear torpedo tube and this one as well. Very nice. Right, if you can just walk to the front of the sub for me, please, there, Murloc. We'll go and get the forward torpedo tube loaded. Long live Quebec, I recommend modding yourself. Uh, you copy original files and create a mod. Devs have a guide and change the copied Excel file command parameters. So what, d making my own mods? Jesus. Yeah, you're, it's a big ask. You get to see Q-Sync, yeah, pretty much. Are we on the last torpedo tube here? Yes, we are, actually. We're loading up tube four. Right, come off duty for me then, please, matey. I don't need aye, you doing aye, much aye, of aye. anything else. Come and get some rest for me, please, Murloc. Right, skipper. Oh, God, he's I've come back down to the skipper's bunk. Leave position, please, skip. Up you get. Come on. God, I've got to go all the way back up. Okay, I thought I wasn't going to... Uh, thought I wasn't going to come back to the boat, but again, what can you do? Right, let's head up back and out. I guess I might as well leave myself as the watch officer in that case then. Tube 4's all loaded and ready to go, I sir. Swat Knights! We can all be glad Q is able to tie his shoelaces in the morning. Don't overwork this poor guy. He's fucking beautiful. Thank you, Swat. Swat, I need to talk to you about audio things at some point in the not-too-distant future. There is a compressor on the horizon. Um, but yeah, for the moment, I'm going to frustrate you by not having one. <laughs> Right. I hear compress I hear a compressor, that's the one. Have you been swatted? Not a long time no see. Watching a bit oh, of your dead by daylight yeah. earlier. You were stabbing people with a knife. Drogon twelve ninety, thank you very much for the seven months, sir. Very, very kind. Right then, let's see how many torpedoes we can get with our tuppence from the Kriegsmarine headquarters here. Let's look at in terms of total torpedo load. We've got fuck all. In terms of budget here, let's load up what I can. Right. All of them. That leaves me with that. We can load up another stern T2. And then that leaves me with a, a, a rip-roaring thousand budget. What can I do with that? I could grab more coffee. It's always nice. Could grab more coffee. Thousand budget. That would cost me 600. And then we could probably take a little bit more food on board. But nothing too strenuous. We'll take on some spuds. Uh, take on some spuds. We could take on some fish. Spuds and fish. That'll do. And we can top up what we have in the storeroom with that. Right then, U boat's going to be off duty for the next two days, so let us select that. Torpedoes and the like are all being loaded up here. How's everybody doing? You don't need to be warming that up for me, please, matey. Come and get some sleep for me there, nerd. Murloc's doing okay in the bunk. Emily, get some sleep. Social system, get some sleep. Captain Q, we need to get you out and talking to the Admiralty. And then we'll get our mission and cast off. I want to grab some more people to play Dead by Daylight again. You in? Trust me, it's not spooky. I've never actually played Dead by Daylight. Alive and quarantined. Yeah, that's it. Nothing really happening. I've been in quarantine. This is week three. And it's three something for me. Um, I've been quarantined since the 17th of March. Because of uh, coronavirus symptoms. Um, but obviously, my symptoms have gone now. But, uh, my, well, my work has closed. I'm being furloughed. Furloughed, is it? Right. You can run with shift. Where's the, the oh, authentic experience? Yeah. Something like it says at Longley Quebec, I always recommend Deadly Waters. And where is my Reichsmark mods from the workshop if you prefer an easy done an easy done job? I, well, I appreciate that. What's Deadly Waters? Let's also talk about the Admiralty. Let's see here what we can get. So we've got three patrol sectors. Oh, yeah. We've got protect, patrol sector CE, which is actually very far out in towards the Atlantic here. Very nice. We've got patrol sector BD and CG. Now CG is quite close, but it is a hard sector. What this would do would give us 100% influence. We'd be expected to sink a lot of tonnage, however. If we go up here, increased activity of enemy aircraft was recently noticed in this area. 
or this place which will get us sweet FA, if I'm honest. I'm tempted to do the easy pat patrol sector first, just for me to find my feet, and then we can gradually ramp up in difficulty as we go on. So we're going to go with this one first, and then we will do some better ones as we go. Uh, Random Riley says, glad I could watch one of your streams in some of my downtime. Enjoy. I, I, I will. I, <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying as well. So we're going to go with the easy mission. And then we'll go from there. So Azores, Mid-Atlantic Gap, or Gibraltar, that's the one. Is this Azores? You call this Azores? Maybe. I don't know. I'm geographically challenged. Right then, travel 1,070 nautical miles inside the target area. We're going to get back on board. Our secondary objective is to sink 4,000 tons of merchant shipping. So let's get that sorted there. We'll get on board and then we'll rig ship to cast off, which will be fantastic. And see all of our food and everything down there. We'll get on board. We'll get buttoned up. No need to get buttoned up, really. Probably just get your skipper, get your man on the navigation tables for the moment. Climb down. Lovely stuff. And then, yeah, we'll just get him on the navigation tables. Right then, so in terms of navigation, let's take a look at the map here. I am going to need to plot a course out this way. It shouldn't be too bad. We're going to be going over some deep water. Go figure. So let us set a running course through there. We're also going to release a couple of extra crew members from Nerd there. We're going to swing this way and then probably out this way. So we're going to come around the, the harbour, so the jetty for the harbour here. Around the jetty. Come down here. Come out this way. And then just pretty much just straight line it all the way there. Why oh, complicate it? Right. Let us... Yeah, I think we're about ready to go. Ship's all ready and rigged to run. Uh, let us rig our ship for a head. Two-thirds. And then we shall cast off. Yep, I think we've got everything we need. We're all loaded up with torpedoes. 200 budget. Let's just throw a save out here in case I horribly fuck something up, which, let's be real, it's only a matter of time. There's a raid incoming. Oh, it's Miss Jaina with the 18. Thank you very, very much. Good to see you all. Right, let us cast off then. A head two-thirds, please, manoeuvring. Excellent stuff. Let's take over Hello. Social for the moment. Let's get him to leave bed here. We can come up on deck while I'm on the navigation table. Let's come and have a look around. This is the Chief Boatswain. Uh, set sort of 2IC to myself. Right then. Up we go. Should be casting off from the harbour nice and easy here. Probably want you to climb up. Probably quite late evening, isn't it? What is it? Yeah, it's five o'clock in the evening. Let's uh, rig the ship for red light running uh, while I'm at it, just so that we have improved nighttime visibility. Shouldn't be too much of an issue, but it should help with visibility. Doesn't really make a difference when you're up on top, but. Rig for the right light mode there. Lovely, and away we go from the harbour, making a very healthy 11 knots at a head two thirds here going to be swinging around the mouth of the harbour and then yeah put in put in, put in yeah burning some shoe rubber and then uh yeah getting out to the open ocean which is nice could hide the flag or we'll wrap up the flag for now because i will forget to take it down later lovely stuff there we go reached our heading making a maneuver very, very nice. Deadly Waters increases the difficulty and price of certain items of the game, in case you find it easy. And where is my Reichmark decreases rewards from sunken ships, so you're not rich after the first mis first mission. That's actually quite good, Lekker. I should definitely look into that. Oh, so we're just chilling out on the top deck for the moment. Nothing much going on. What we need to do is hit the open ocean here. So let's speed up time. We're going to get sis Social System back down to sleep for the moment. And then, yep, yeah, we're going to keep going. We probably want to get someone in the diesel room, so let's get Murloc down to the diesels. Take two people with him so that we can efficiently run with, well, not much fuel consumption, which is what we're after. And then, yeah, we'll ply our trade 1,500 nautical miles out that way, and then we should be fine and dandy. Let's just get Emily on the radio station for the moment, see if there's anything coming in from headquarters, any secondary missions they like to throw us the occasional curveball here and tell us that there's a ship that we have to intercept and then we have to slam it out there in a head flank. Anything to report, Emily? Nothing yet? Get a bit of Radio Gibraltar going, because why the fuck not? Lovely stuff. Right. 
The German submarines really operate themselves like... Sorry, operate by themselves like this? I've always been under the impression they operated in packs. Um, submarines can operate individually. There's no reason why they can't. But yes, for large convoys, wolf packs tended to be, you know, how they operated. Are Valorant drops enabled? No. <laughs> I, I am Dr. Disrespect. Yes, sorry. Yes, they are enabled. Ho ho! Controversial. Right. Let's uh, speed up some time. And then, yep, let's hit the open ocean. Have you ever got every upgrade in U-Boat? Literally, just like the last time we played it. I decided it was too easy. Lovely. Leave position. Let's run us to daylight running. As it's now the middle of the day. We'll go and get fella me lad to bed here. Skipper, come and get some sleep for us. Oh, okay, do teleport over then. Where are we? We're still in the Bay of Biscay. Let's get a uh, social system to run on the navigation table. Emily, do we have anything to report? Nothing at the moment. Not too bad. Murloc, how are you doing in terms of exhaustion? How are you doing? Could probably do with a little bit of a rest. Murloc, come and get some sleep. Nerd, take over on the engines. Take two people with you for fuel efficiency. Keep an eye on them. Emily, come and get some sleep for us. There we go. Not too much of an issue. And then we'll speed up time and we'll carry on from there. Nice, nice, nice. So you can see the time and date up in the top left here. We're in the northeast Atlantic. Well, we're in the Bay of Biscay at the moment. Um, currently pushing through to evening. I'm going to leave on daylight running for the moment because we're not really set in the contact zone for the moment. Once people are reasonably rested, we'll fire up the radio again and see what else is going on. Would you recommend this game at the current price or wait till it's on sale? I would say wait till it's on sale, Vivian. Have you got a German man named Emily? Yeah, Emily's a... You can have a guy named Emily. Why not? <laughs> Why does it sound like a record scratch when the music stops? It's a, it's a fair point, Tristan. It's a fair point. Right, so it is currently 8 o'clock in the morning. I don't expect we're going to be running into too much trouble. We do have some officers up on deck here. Did I... Oh, God. I think I operated the free cam there, didn't I? I forgot I had free camera. Jesus, are we even running on the surface here? Good God. We probably want to run to a head stand, oh, don't we? Oh, yeah. Christ almighty, let's try and keep yourselves above the waterline. If, if you can handle that, that would be great. Let's run to a head standard. Try and make some better time. Power through the swells. Very nice, people just chilling out, which is great. So waste. Hey there, Q, hope you are well. I came home from four weeks on a ship, so if you see any Danish merchant vessels, be nice. Please keep being cool. I don't know about cool, man. I like flat caps and stuff. Cool left me long ago. Okay, not much else going on here. Emily, let's quickly listen in, see if we've got any radio transmissions from headquarters, see anything going on. Hopefully nothing like... You missed it! Where have you been? We've been trying to reach you for days. Oh, fucking hell. They've been trying to reach us for days. Let's get that decoded. Okay, Skipper. Leave position for us. We've got to check the bunk here, the ship's log, once this radio transmission comes through. Along the Quebec, how do you feel about the fact that Cam already has his own subreddit? I, I have no idea. I don't know how I feel about that mighty midget. No, fair play to him. Whether it's out is perfect and doesn't affect signal quality. Fantastic. Should get a... There we go. Report any second now. Just quickly look at the log here. Uh, one of our ships has gone missing. Oh. It's those pesky batteries again. Right, we need to rendezvous with some sh with uh, some of our vessels here. So we need to come down here. One of our ships has gone missing. Let's go for a head full. Try and reach them in good time. How are we doing in terms of crew fatigue? That's the real question. People are reasonably well rested. Emily, nothing else to report, I assume, there. We're going to leave you on the radio just for a moment. Might as well fire up Radio Gibraltar if you can for us, Emily. Sorry, you keep going on here. Skipper, over here. And then, Emily, uh, Radio Gibraltar if you can. Lovely. Let's head on up on the roof, see what's going on outside. Scrooge, you doing okay for rest and stuff? Or social system? Screwed. Force a habit. <laughs> social. Checking the maps and everything, making sure we're okay. 
Now we do it. 100% navigation, which is great. I'm going to go up on the roof without closing the hatch. Up we go. Excellent stuff. Excellent. Jesus. Jesus. Very rough sea state. Quite a lot of swell. Get up on the step. Beautiful stuff. Jesus Christ. It's quite a lot of swell. Just make sure you lads are buck, buttle, buck, buttled? buckled up. I want to see if they can, like... Water's extreme. I've got extreme water, man. Play music in first... Yep, that's fine. Speech. Kind of wanted, like, more, like, effects. God, mono. Why would anyone do that? I suppose if you're using a mixer, maybe. Just maybe wanted to see if we could get the, the water sounding a bit more epic. Oh, Jesus, popping a wheelie. Christ, the swell is absolutely tragic at the moment. Let's button that up in case water sloshes down. Should be alright for the moment. It's very, very isolating out here. There is nothing for hundreds of miles in any direction. Well, about 100 miles that way. Basically, if sh if you get in trouble out here, you are on your own. Nothing to report out there. I don't have much music at Radio Gibraltar. Very interesting. Lovely. Yeah, can't see anything around at the moment, which is okay. Can live with that. Probably speed up time, shouldn't we? Let's rock and roll. Very nice. Anybody need changing over? Not just yet. Do you know what? We will. We'll get screwed. We'll social. It's gonna it's gonna be difficult. I've spent so long on that save. Social, go and get some sleep for us. Captain, come down. Man the navigation station. We won't change over for anybody else at the moment. And then we'll go from there. It's can the guy Q ordered us to be nice to. That is the very same man. Glad he's got his own subreddit. Excellent stuff. So we've got the compass and things like that. Protractor. God, this is the side of U-boat that just I can't deal with. Lovely. Need to change over our mechanic here. Mr. Nerd, come and release your extra crew members. Sleep. Murloc, take over on the diesels. Take two people with you. Right, what we could do while we're here, we're going to radio in that we've reached our sector here. Emily, come and just get off that machine for the moment for us, please. Oh, we managed to radio that in before the radio cut out here. Let's bring us down to a head two-thirds, and what we're going to do is we're going to rig the ship for periscope depth here. Let's leave our position. We're going to rig the ship for PD, and we're going to run the hydrophone for a Can't moment, see, see if there's any Klaus, close Klaus contacts. <laughs> Sorry, right. Um, <clears throat> let's... Um, yeah, rig the ship for periscope depth, and then we can go from there. By the way, at Longleaf, Quebec, it must be scary to live in the UK now that Daleks have started patrolling the streets. I know, right? There we go. So things going to be running down here. We've got Nerd there, spinning the valves there for dive. We can see ballast down here. Ship should be getting all buttoned up here. Everybody's off. Roof is all tied up and ready to go. Periscope depth up and around. Let's get Emily onto the hydrophone here. Let's get you a spare pair of ears as well. Excellent stuff. Let's see what you can hear. If anything. Lovely. Switch into the electrics. Running at a head two thirds. Very nice. Right. So far, so good. We'll have to see if we get any close contacts. I don't think I do, do I? Disabling the detection hints. 
Don't I have to, like, manually give chase to these guys without the detection hints? Let's see here. Engines working on our ship decrease detection range by 11%. That's fine. Let's get onto Emily's no position here and then go to manual mode. See if we can hear anything. Low frequency. It's our own engines. Swing it around. How bad, how bad are things in the UK? Um, they're not great, I'll be honest. There's a lot of interference in front of us, but that could just be water rushing over the hydrophone. I'm literally closing my eyes trying to I feel like I hit something over here then I'm pretty sure very extremely distant I can hear very slow turning of a, or sl a very slow RPM of a maybe a merchant ship engine. It's very very quiet though. Nothing close. Going to release ourselves from that. Right. Going to leave that position there. I'm on the attack periscope. Not that I really need to be. We'll leave that alone. I think. Right, we'll run back up to the surface. Nothing else to really report here. Dive! Tanks and blast. Blow the tanks, take us up. Good stuff. Bojo has begun to go go. Boris is stable and shall live. Lovely. There we go. Nerd coming forward to spin the valves. So we're going to be pushing compressed air in. I'll just go down to the rear here and just fire up the diesel compressor ready for us to come back up. Then we should be good to go. In terms of food and stuff, let's uh, just grab storage here. Probably want to just load a little bit of this into the galley. So we got... There we go. Come through here. There we go. Firing up the diesels. If I can, lads. There we go. Mopping stuff up. Let's run the diesel compressor here. That's going to get us compressed air, which is what we need. On the way up here. Buoyancy's at 100% there. Just leave the air compressor to run for a little while, and then we should be good to go. Currently running at a head two-thirds. We're going to continue to run at a head standard. Speed us up for us, lads. Very nice. That's like New Street Station in here. Very busy. I suppose this is the important bit, isn't it? Very nice. Lovely stuff. Come on, lads, let me scoot on through. Nice one. So far, so good. You're a sleepy radio operator, that you are. Through the hatch we go. Any water in the bilge? Let's take a look here. How are we doing for bilges? A little bit of water in the bilge. Let's just get that out with the pump. Rainwater and various, you know, tiny, tiny micro leaks. Just get all of that out of there. Very nice. All compartments are dry. Lovely, lovely. 85% uh, on navigation. How's screwed doing in terms of, or social doing in terms of rest? I can't, I can't help it. Um, let's see. Emily's doing okay there. i would probably get you to sleep, please, Emily. Skipper, take over on this position. So sure I wonder how we're doing. Don't need you warming up... What, whamming? We don't need you warming up t uh, the torpedoes there, nerd, as we've got no close contacts for the moment. 
We're going to continue running to our objective. Hopefully find some ships along the way, but... Yeah. Remains to be seen, really. Can we see anything around us? Are we in the... Are we in the middle of, like, a hecking... Oh, we're in the middle of an absolutely immense fog bank. Interesting. Oh, yeah. Not too bad. Making good time at a head standard. Really cutting through the water here. It's quite calm sea state, but that is, a, that is an immense fog. Look at that. That is insane. Right then. Somewhere ahead of us is our target. U-boat. In inaccurate contact. This unit may be anywhere within this radius. Right then. Let's get up on deck. Uh, Skip, that is myself here. We're going to get you up to the targeting UZO. Take two men with you. Uh, screwed. Oh, so social. I might need to rename you social. Uh, let's get you onto the navigation here. Emily, release yourself from there for the moment. And then let's see if we can even try and spot anything. I don't think we will. Leave position for me there just for the moment. Skip, we need you to just fire up the searchlight. Don't think we're going to be able to see anything in this weather, but let's give it a try. Let's see if we can increase our observation. Uh, social if I can. I'll just get you to leave this position. We're going to run to red light. Oh, we've got a detection. There we go. Eyes on target. Very nice. Alright, run to contact. No movement that we can see. Skipper, can you lock it? Jesus. Bog bank is like insane. It's somewhere over there. Trying to get a lock on it. Can't really even see it. Alright. Don't really need these preheated. Not really. We'll slow us down to a head two thirds now that we've found it. Not really expecting much. Let's release our additional crew members. As there's no real urgency for them now. Come off position there for us, Cap. Just got to run to target. Can't speed up time at the moment. That is fair enough. Still closing. Don't want to get too close to it in case obviously we're blowing it up, which I, I must add we are. Hopefully no aircraft. We shall see. I'm not sure if it's good or bad weather to be a... Uh, Trying to find this U-boat. We'll go from there. This looks good in first person with the weather. It does, doesn't it? It does look cool. Station is currently unused, all right? Everybody keep your positions. Get onto the radio room there for us, please, Emily. See if there's any radio contacts. Don't think there will be, but we'll see. Four nautical miles to target. Speed up time a little bit. Got a long way to close. Searchlight doing a very good job of helping us spot our target. And unfortunately, we are very much. No, come and get some sleep for me. I don't need you doing that for the moment. Emily, there's no radio contact, so come and get some sleep. Social, stay on your position for me. One nautical mile from target. We will get an alert in a moment to say that we're good to go and intercept. Well, he just moved. Why did he just move? Bring us down to a head one third. Three cables from target. New mission nearby. Okay. Skip. We're going to send Nerd over, I think. Right, how do I get you to do this in first person? I know how I'd do it in what's it. Leave this position for me, please, matey. Can I click on this? I think I can. I think I've got to, like, 
Type 7C. I'll get you to go over there. I guess I've got to get you up on the roof. Nerd's the new Dave, that's it. Up you go, mate. Up on the step. There we go. Go and investigate it for us, please, son. U-1167 is floating on the water's surface without any living soul on deck. Inspection from the boat makes it clear the boat has sustained major damage. It remains a mystery, though, what happened to the crew and why the enemy left it in such a state on the water. Let's send you on board there, son. So, Nerd is heading aboard. He disappears off into the fog. We are all stop at the moment. Are we all stop? All stop. Time at the moment is 8.50 a.m. Interesting stuff. How are we doing? Captain. Nearly to the U-boat. Going to see it looming in through the fog there. There it is. There we go. So Ned goes on board to make his inspection. Oh, Let's see what's yeah. going on. Hopefully nothing too shocking. This game always lags for me. It is a very, very system-heavy game. Like, um, the game's very, very graphically intensive because of the water. Um, like, I've, I've got a 1080 Ti, um, and it's it, freq it can frequently cause this system to overheat, like, badly, badly. So, yeah. Try not to blow it up with me on it. Yes, the good old days. Twardy, thank you very much there to Peely and Rozak as well. Thank you also to Sir Waste as well for the 31 months for Sir Waste. Rozak for 23. And Peely for 20. Thank you very much, everyone. So, Nerd cautiously uh, boarded U-1167, reporting that he could he not hear any sounds from inside the ship. He went to the conning tower and carefully opened the hatch, then quickly ran to the barriers on the conning tower, clearly choking. He reported that inside of the corpses of the sailors with dry blood flowing out of their eyes and lips. Nerd has no doubt the ship was damaged by a mine which led to flooding of the ion batteries on the boat which in turn released chlorine gas and resulted in the death of the entire crew. We must mine the ship so that it does not fall into enemy hands. Nerd, mine to the vessel! Explosive charges will explode after a few minutes sinking the vessel. The boat must be sunk. It cannot fall into enemy hands. Let us mine the ship. The man is placing explosive charges inside the vessel, designed to knock it out so that the all-important Enigma machine and, you know, the U-boat itself does not fall into allied hands any kind of inspection or scrutiny. That's obviously the important thing. He's preparing to return. He's just inside planting the charges now. And then he'll begin his egress back towards U96. Oh, Good evening, yeah. Goblinian. Hope you are well. Love your streams. No worries. I'm glad you're enjoying it, Glob. Glob? Gob? Gob. Bad, bad nickname. That should go a Vamoosh. Yeah. Any second that should go bang. Any second, he says. Probably waits until he's on board. Just got to wait for the mines to go off. And then we should be good to go. Very nice. Alain de Quebec, does this allied response to your submarine operations in the game improve over time? Yes, they do. They deploy more destroyers and various other things. I could hear the explosion then. Ship has been registered as sunk. There is Nerd back on board. Nerd, you've done well, mate. Go downstairs, grab some sleep. I don't know why they teleport, but they do. Right, Skipper, you could probably go and get some sleep as well. Are you going to teleport as well? No, what a treat. Right then. With the uh, ship engaged and sunk there, what we're going to do, uh, just quickly, I probably want to get back up there and just uh, switch off the... Got to get used to the clicking. There we go. I've got to want, want to turn off the searchlight before I come down. And then we're going to rig ship for periscope depth, and then we're going to go hunting for some hostile targets if we can. See what's around. Right. Turn off the searchlight. Rig the ship for periscope depth. Skipper, come and get some sleep. Climb down the ladder. There you go, son. Get us all buttoned up. 
Let's get the ship running to daylight running. Let's see if we can hear anything on the hydrophone. Take it ahead dead slow for us, please. Schneller, Schneller. Travel mode, I. Right. Let's get the skipper some rest. Let's get Emily to change onto the hydrophone. Taking one person with you, please, Emily. I'd like you to try and identify any hostile contacts if you can. Nerd, are you... Who's spinning the valves? Are we coming down to PD? I literally have no idea. Are we on our way down to PD? Feel like we should be. There we go. Switching to the electrics. There we go. Buoyancy down. Nerd, rest. Sleep. Be a good lad. Right. We're ahead one third. See if we can find any distant contacts. Not really, hey chat. Come back out up here, because that's where I think we're more likely to intercept shipping up and around there. Nothing to report. Right, let us quickly get with Emily here. See if we can hear anything. Water rushing over the hydrophone. Can't hear a thing. Nothing to report, it doesn't sound like. Nothing to report. We'll run Happy subsurface dear. for a little bit. Make our decision off that. Only got so much oxygen on board, we'll run for a little while. And see what there is in and about. I'm not sure whether I get the detection markers. I think I said that I hid the detection hints and I only detect people once they're inside the hydrophone range here. Batteries are suffering. We will surface very, very shortly. Let's listen again. Uh, think you made a mistake while creating my character. He's not nearly fat enough and has too magnificent of a beard. Yep. I feel that, man. Not literally. <laughs> not that kind of vote. Can't hear a fucking yeah, thing, it. chat. Right. Yeah, boy. Take us up. Run us on the top. Let's go to surface the ship. Got to run the electrics, or got to not run the electrics. Got to run the diesels. Let's get you on the radio room just in case we get any other communiques. Minimise that. Social, how are we doing? Yeah, Navigation's looking good. Leave position. Currently two o'clock in the afternoon, which is fine. There is Nerd spinning our ballast tanks there. We're going to be uh, filling our ballast tanks full of air. We're just going to run down to the rear and go and uh, fill up the reserve oxygen here. Let's just try and zigzag through the guys. Oh, getting shunted. There we go. On the diesels now. Right then. Going deeper might make things easier to hear convoys. Yeah, it might be an idea. It's interesting, I've never done this before, so not entirely sure what I am looking der for. Blimey. 
What kind of depth? 50 meters? You're from Quebec, are you, Miner Dasher? Good stuff. Right. Compressed air reserves are full. Murloc, let's release you from there and get some sleep. Leave these. We're still running out of head dead slow. Yeah, run us to a head standard. Change over on here for us. Nerd, come down to the diesels. Come and manage these. We just want to switch off this compressor if it's still running. Yep, got all the air we need. You come and get some sleep for us. There we go. Uh, it's coming down to the engine rooms. So could do with the rest as well, and he is sleeping. That's fantastic. Not much to report. Captain, up to the Ayuzio for us, please. Take two extra crew members with you, and let's see if we can spot anything on the horizon here. Transmission from headquarters. See what we've got. Get an extra person on there to radio that in. See what we're dealing with. Hopefully some information with regards to a merchant convoy that we need to sync with any luck. We can go from there. Any depth between 25 and periscope should do the trick. Okay, good stuff. Let's have a look here. Radio in should be good to go. And we'll see what's going on. Any second. Let's have a look. Patrol sector CE. Find the MV Goya. We have information uh, that crucial technology has been loaded onto the freight of the MV Goya. We must go and intercept it. Where is the MV Goya? Part of a very large convoy heading this way. Head standard for us, please. We've got a large convoy coming in, chat. Let's rock and roll. New contact. Chimney smoke. Ooh. Another engagement. Okay. What we want to do then. Um, Murloc's going to get some sleep. Nerd, get a couple of people on the engine. Social, get out of bed for me. I need us to run to red light running. Radio in our spotted chimneys. S hit. We might find ourselves a hostile contact. We just need to make sure that we're not spotting the diesel fumes of a friendly U-boat. We can test our torpedo calculations here. Right. Red light running for us. Should be all right. Let's see what we can find. Got chimney smoke. Very happy to have some chimney smoke ahead of us. Screwed, come and just get some sleep. Emily, come and get some sleep as well. Interesting. We've got a freighter. Swedish, non hostile, is carrying war materials. I think we're obliged to leave that alone. I'm playing as social. Yep, I'm switching between everyone. It's annoying. Would count as tonnage. Hmm. They got Nazi gold. Get them. That's the one. We could do. Fun, untrue fact. Numerous German spies managed to get into France during World War II and they said, I surrender to the French guards. Yep. True story, bro. Right then, visibility is going to be low here. This is not a hostile warship per se, but I think we're going to try and engage it. We're going to try and engage it because it's quite clearly carrying war materials. Emily got himself 10 XP from that. Herself, I should say. Right, uh, let's do this then. We're going to come down to a head two thirds and we're going to get the ship ready for periscope depth and attack. Are we sure it's allied materials? Man the deck gun, you reckon? I want to man the deck gun against it. To be honest, actually, those look like uh, Opal Blitzes, don't they? Or are they the American one? Does that look like an Opal Blitz German lorry? Kind of does, actually. No, I think... Is this an Opal Blitz? It's a GMC, is it? It's not hostile, better blow it sky high. It's a good opportunity for me to test my torpedo skills. So we're gonna we're gonna we are going to engage it as a hostile target. So 
Opal Blitz is slim at the front, I see. As a Swede, I feel bad about the fact that the Swedes are neutrally carrying neut are neutrally carrying war materials. They did for both sides. I understand. They were like, hey bro, we're not at war, but do you want some iron? Because we'll give you some of that. Right then, Skipper. We could engage that guy. Let me see whether I can spot him on the horizon there. So our target is just there. Swedish ship spotted. Locked in. There we go. Target locked. Ship is that. It's the something something. Let me know for sure. Right then, in terms of identifying it, let's take a look at the identification book here. So, is it an Empire Bell? Kind of looks like one. Looks like an Empire Bell class ship. It's got one rear chimney behind the main superstructure. It's got a single mast with an off uh, hanging crane. One of them with an off hanging crane. Comes up at the bow. I'm pretty happy that that's an Empire Bell class ship. We'll just see if there's anything else that fits the bill. Could also be an Empire Tower. Interesting. Could actually be the Empire Tower instead. Yeah. Or is it? Oh, don't know until it gets a bit closer to broadside. It's 1941. Denmark has been conquered by then. That's it. Interesting. Doesn't make much of a difference. Draft is very similar for both. The way that the rear only gradually tapers up, although... That said, it does seem to step up at the back, doesn't it? So I'm guessing it's an Empire Bell. The shape at the skirt of the bow is different. I would say it looks more like a bell. We're going to recognise it as a bell. The Empire Bell is an island to the aft. It does, doesn't it? This definitely seems to come up there seems to have this here. It's not too far between the chimney and everything else. If it was this one, the back would be much more flat and tapered, but it looks like to step up here, the boog, yeah. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with the bell. I'm going with the bell. Right then. What I need to do is here we're gonna set the statometer. Now I use this to set just down the torpedo just sorry just below the stack to crack open their boiler rooms yep confused why can't I use the statometer at all is it because I'm on this thing oh no there it is so it's E isn't it no wait the ghost ship goes up on top doesn't it which one's the ghost ship is that right that looks about there. Set. One nautical mile to target. Chronometer. Point your periscope at the front of the target. And start it. Didn't do it right, did I not? Carl, Carl Henkel. Is the U-boat moving? Yes. I suppose we should be at dead stop, shouldn't we? Didn't I do the opposite thing? I suggest the attack periscope might have better line of sight. No, I've done the opposite, I see. Could really stop, shouldn't I? Put the ghost below the actual ship, is that right? Set. Target speed is five knots. Let's use the statometer again. Like that. Still says one nautical mile. Let's go for angle on the bow now. So they're coming sort of that way, like that. Probably want to get some torpedoes warmed up, don't I? Let's fire a test T1 at them. Get that warmed up. Get ready to set that. The ghost ship goes above. 
I don't think chat has a clue, don't you think? Right there, rotate the disc to visually match the course of your target. What's the relevance of this white bit? I don't know what that's about. I reckon somewhere like that. 110, 111 degrees. That's my course relative to it, I see. So I'm heading northwest now. No, I'm not. I'm heading west. Doesn't seem right. It literally says on the thing how you do it. We'll check it again. We'll set that. And then we'll go back to the statimeter. Right, so use Q&E. Rotate the ghost image that the sea level is on the highest mast of the target ship. So rotate the ghost image so that you see its sea level on the level of the highest mast of the target ship. So you want the ghost ship above, which I'm guessing is that one. So Q. Set. It's all the same, really. Right, that's that target bearing. He's making five knots. How are we doing on that torpedo? It's being preheated. That's the wrong way around. Is that's not that's the ghost one, isn't it? The the transparent one is the ghost. Because this this is the solid one. You put the ghost above. It says rotate the ghost image so that its sea level is on level with the highest mast. Ghost is above. That's not the ghost. Ghost is above. Set. He's still making that course by my reckoning. Right, let's flood tube one. We'll give it a test shot and we'll see how horrible I am at this. Here we go. We'll see whether this was anywhere near correct. Five knots, I reckon, is right. Fire. Ideally, I should probably shoot two, but... That doesn't look horrible. Doesn't look amazing either, mind you. Although it is a T1, it is quite fast. Note you're close enough to read its name. True. <laughs> if you just move the binoculars higher up with the mouse, that's also a good point. Get that loaded. Right, skipper. Let's see how we did. You didn't max out the speed. Fair point. But I think we'll be okay because it's manual TDC. We'll find out. Here we go, chat. Well, it's heading in the right direction. <laughs> Whether it hits or not, we're most of the way there. Have you tried riding the torpedo and manually steering it like a real man? I have not. I have not taken a frying pan and used it as a rudder. Looks like it's a hit on its center, probably. Can you follow the torp? I can't really. It's a bit dark in game. I can try to. Oh, it looks like it's gonna Oh, it doesn't look terrible. It might hit it might just skim past it. it might just skim past its bow. Although Oh no, that looks okay. That looks good. Nice one. How are they doing with that? Still a hit? I'll take it. They didn't really seem to mind. Torpedoes covered half the distance. Tube one loaded. That was a that was a hit. Minimal damage indeed. Now I can give another one a try. He actually hit chat despite you're trying to confuse him. Uh, yeah. A ch chat's trying to help in their own twisted way. Manual mode. So we hit them right there. So what what did I probably get off then? I probably got their course off, maybe? Just by a little bit. I would say they're closer to that. Let's set that. 165. Are they currently dead stop? Are they dead stop? Unlock. There we go. I've just got to unlock it. Right, statimeter. I'm going to guess that they're still making five knots, and we're going to get another one out. Ready on tube four, matey. Whenever you're ready.
Wouldn't this be the point you bored them IRL and scuttled it? Pretty much, yeah. Get it locked in again. That's ready. Lovely. Torpedo loaded with flour. Yeah, that's it. Right. So they're actually getting a bit more flat onto us as they come round our side here. So I reckon we're looking more at the 101 mark there. Is that right? I'd actually even say a little bit flatter. Something like that. We'll go with something like that. 97. Let's give this a try. Set. And fire Go tube on. 4. Didn't max out the speed, but we'll see how we do. Looks like this is going to be a miss. Yep, this one's going to go just behind. Oh. He says. I hit him right on the I hit him right on the stern. Serious damage. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I genuinely wasn't expecting that. Whoopsie days. I accidentally hit them. Set new speed. I think we're okay. It's a miss, lies. Well, to be fair, I am very close at only six cables. It's hard to miss. But this is the kind of in kind of distance you want to be engaging a U boat at. Or sorry, engaging a merchant ship. You don't want to be too close slash far away. We do want to set a fire on board, it looks like. So let us come up to the... Well, we're already on the surface. That's the joy of it. Right, social. If I can get you to man the deck gun for me, please. Need you up top. Get some HE loaded. We'll sink that ship. Excellent. Right then. Down we go. Nice HE loading. Manual mode. There, there she blows. Don't walk in front of the gun. Right. Long range shots. Any second now and... Not sure whether that hit. I think that might have gone right over. We'll go for another one. Stand by. That one definitely went over. A little bit lower. Fucking. <laughs> Fourth time's the charm, chat. Much lower. About there. I think I put that between the superstructure and the bow. Um, it's a good thing we don't really pay for these. That hit the water short. I think that hit the water just a tiny bit short as well. Hit below the chimney stack. That hit, definitely. Chimney stack seems to be a slightly bigger target for me, yes. Let's try and get that fire started once that fire is started. We should be okay. We are hitting these shots. We've just got to get the fire to take. Aim for the superstructure now. That was way too low. Fucking sea state. It's a shite to shoot with. There we go. And that's a death sentence. Right then. Uh, leave position. Come and get yourself some sleep there, social. Good job, matey. Release your two additional crew members. Skipper. Leave position. There she goes. That's the one. That's 3,000 tons of our merchant shipping sunk. On, on, a, on a neutral ship, to be fair, but what can you do? Down he goes. Right then, uh, Emily, let's get you onto the radio station. And then we'll report that as a successful kill. Give us a head two-thirds, please, manoeuvring. Let's continue to intercept our convoy target. Out of range. Let's get you an additional crew member there, Emily. Should be able to radio that in successfully now. 3,600 budget. Not bad at all. Two torpedoes and a smattering of high explosive rounds. What we'll do is we'll get nerd yeah, here. Don't need you warming up torpedoes anymore. Leave this position for us. I actually want you to come and uh, help me with the loading of different... Uh, well, we want to get some HE rounds back upstairs, basically. So let's do that uh, on the deck gun here. Take up 
Yeah, take up 30, 32 HE rounds to make it a 40 stack. Take it up to the roof. Uh, take yourself two additional crew members to give you a hand with that. Skip out. How are we doing? We're not doing too bad, are we, sir? Not bad. Job is a good one. Are we in shallow enough water to be able to check that wreckage? No, 2,000 metres is well beyond what we're able to check tonight. Right then, it's 6 o'clock in the morning, so it looks like, based on our current speed and heading and stuff like that, we're going to be intercepting our convoy probably some day, time around lunchtime. We'll keep it at a head two-thirds, and then we'll go from there. Night, everybody! Take care, Redbeard! I am so happy I managed to hit a torpedo. Even if it was at, like, basically point-blank range. I'm happy that it managed to land. How do you check the wreckage? You need a diving suit, to be fair. I don't even have a diving suit, so I can't even check the wreckage. We shall come away. Skipper, come down below deck for us. We'll keep following current intelligence. Come and get some sleep. I'm glad that I was able to land that hit. I really am. Right, release yourself. Go and get some sleep for us, matey. Murloc to the diesels. Take two people with you. Emily, you've done a cracking job. Come and get some sleep. Social system, can I get you to navigation, please? Just in case. There we go. Go. Come on, social system, get on navigation. Need that number to start climbing, son. There we go. Now we've got to intercept these bastards. Yeah, we're going to slow down to... What, can we slow down ahead one third? Yep. We're going to try and draw out our intercept time. We've done that quite well, actually. It's 7 o'clock in the evening now. Let's give it a head two thirds. There we go, we're going to be engaging oh, them yeah. at very late evening, very late night. We've got a convoy coming in ahead of us. Let's try and find them. Thank you very much there to Porkly Pigus. Best part of quarantine is all the extra queue. Ah, oh, very nice. Right then, okay, what we want to do, a couple of things that need to get done here. Skipper, leave this position for me. I want you uh, to come and grab some coffee first of all, because you're uh, a little bit tired. Climb down. Let's go from this. Uh, we want this way. Grab a bit of coffee from the cupboard. Open storage cabinet. Grab a swig of that. That puts me in an okay state. We'll see how we go. Might grab a little bit more later. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to stay up on the surface for the moment. And then we'll see what we're dealing with. Not many destroyers are going to be using radar this early in the war. So we've got the luxury of giving them a bit of a hard time here. Sea state is very, very poor. Observation deck. Let's get two men on board. Two extra men of the watch. Let's do that. And let's try and find our targets. Gonna pull in this way. We know the convoy is somewhere around here. But not exactly where, which is always part of the fun. Okay, screwed. I'm gonna get you to just get some kip because you've uh, got the navigation up to 100%, which is exactly what we're after. Once we make contact, we're going to get Nerd to start warming up torpedoes. Can't you just send and uh, send a sacrificial guy down there with a series of elaborately taped straws? I wish I could. I have no idea where this convoy is. Just got to try and find them. Don't want to dive, really. I want to see if I can find them, wherever they may be hinding. Let's go to a head standard, really pick up the speed here. Skipper, come and get some rest for me. I've got no snorkel, so I can't really dive. Come on, Skip. There we go. Come and get some rest for us. Social, take over on the targeting... Pe oh, in fact, actually, I kind of need your navigation screwed. We'll have to leave the default watch officers up there. Where is everyone? It's like a massive convoy. You think we'd be able to find it? Poor social. It's social screwed now. I know, right? Hydrophone is really the best way to find them. Oh, hang on. Detection. Clementis. Okay, we found them. All right, slow us down ahead two thirds. Clementis Corvette. Okay, so short, you've done a cracking job. Come up to the uh, targeting site for us, please. Take two officers of the watch. Run us ahead two thirds. 
up we come. Let's see what we're going with. We'll maintain radio silence for the moment. Let's see what we're dealing with. Manual mode. Reset the targeting site. Got a destroyer. Various cargo ships. Bring us down to a head one third. Yeah, we're going to want to come back up this way. We'll go ahead two thirds and we'll try and run alongside them, trying to get into a pos better position to intercept. So the best thing about U boat is that Long the Quebec Hydrofern works both on and below the water, does it? I think it does. Interesting, no alarm states to report. Got to be very careful. At least two destroyers covering this convoy. You want to warm up the torpedoes. That I do, nerd. Let's start torpedo warming up. Loads of T1s, which are the ones we want at this kind of range. Visibility is fantastic for us. Don't want to run too loud here. Right then. We want to run to about here. Right, social if I can. Nearly said it again. Right, to the front. And we are one to the right. Where are our friends? Where are they? There they are. Sorry, I was looking in the wrong place. So that's a destroyer. That's a Norwegian ship. That's the one. That's the MV Goya. That's our target. So we want to get that one locked if we can. Right, so this is our target then. That's us locked on here. There we go, target locked. Right then. Let's take a look at her. That looks like the other type of ship. So this one looks like... That's the Empire Tower because of the gentle taper to the back. So let's go with that. Empire Tower. Statometer. Let's go rotating the... Which one's the ghost ship? Top one's the ghost ship there. On the waterline of the highest mast. Let's set that. Distance classes as two nautical miles. I can believe that to be honest. Actually, maybe not too nautical. We maybe maybe want to do that calculation again. Statometer. Waterline on the highest mast. Hmm. Game seems to think it's about two thousand. I am not convinced. Let's set the other one. Game still reckons about two thousand either or either way. I'm not so sure, but we'll go with what the statometer says at a distance of about 2,000. We'll go from there. Right. Chronometer. Let's get that set and stand by. We want to get speed. I'm guessing five knots. We want to stop. We're going to get two torpedoes out on this target. You can put in manual adjustments by clicking on the box. True. I don't want to go against the statometer, though. This guy's pretty much parallel to us at this point. Let's get ready to stop it. We'll get two torpedoes. Salvo of two out on this guy. Any second, and stop. Set. Five knots. Okay, we know that's right. Uh, course, pretty much bang on 90 degrees for us. Set. Right then. Let's engage our target. Here we go, chat. Torpedoes. What have we got warmed up? We've got a couple of T1s ready. So let's flood to one. 
flood tube three. Max out the speed. Dispersion of 40 meters. This is going to be it, chat. Let's just make sure that we're happy. Statometer. Set it again. Two nautical miles. Okay. Firing point procedures on what I, I think is my target vessel of the MV Goya. Ship ready, tube ready, shoot tubes one and three. Right, both weapons have cleared the tube and are yeah, running normally. Right, what we're going to do is we're now going to rig the ship to dive. We're going to take us down to two zero meters and try and get away. Take us down two zero meters, I. Come and get some sleep for me there, Murloc. Scrooge, you've done a good job. Come and get on navigation for me. We'll try and track these as they come in. Emily, to the hydrophone room, please. The old shoot and scoot, that's it. Don't know how accurate these are going to be. I hope they'll be okay. They're looking sort of all right at the moment. We'll find out. Oh, it's all very dangerous, isn't it? I want to engage my target and then slink away. Maybe shadowing this convoy, but with two destroyers. It's a nasty business. Okay, switching to the electric motors. We can now see the torpedoes as they go in. Looks like the torpedoes are going way too fast. Way too fast. Maybe at a slower speed, they might have been okay. Can't even see them in this weather. Yep, right past the front. Maybe we'll hit someone else. Ten seconds to impact. This is the ship I'm after. Donald Stewart. It is a miss. wonder if we'll get a lucky hit on these guys. Right, okay. So it looks like speed was my... I think I overset the speed. Or like made the calculations with the torpedoes on slow. So let's go in again. We'll come up to PD. We'll try and engage using the attack periscope. We'll go from there. Right. Missed with the distance. Yeah. Must, must have been. Must have been. Yeah, one nautical mile. My estimate. So we'll set an offset and we'll go from there. Skipper, manual mode for me. We're coming up to PD. Yeah, bring us up, right. Center on the front. That is the front. We want the front right side. Change the view to this one. sure that's our target that Norwegian ship again right so we know that he's making roughly five knots so we're gonna make we're gonna assume five knots velocity five knots making five knots we know we're gonna say one hmm, one mile how do we get it to do one mile ten one nautical mile and we'll do the angle on the bow again. Get my attack periscope a bit higher. Just moving ever so slightly away from us. So let's call it... ...85 degrees, give or take. Right, what are we missing? Speed. Already set the speed. 75% solution. That'll do for me. It's flooded T7. T7. It's very light. Ship type. Mm, that was it. We know it's one of these. Recognise it. There we go. Let's shoot this tube and then assume that the slower speed is what we're after. Shoot tube 2. Right, let's... 
let's see if we've had any impact there. No, looks far too slow now. Now it looks like distance is well out of whack. Okay, we don't want you warming up those ones. This is a learning experience, chat. It's the whole classification. I don't think it is. Shouldn't make too much of a difference. Love how they just didn't notice the first two, pretty much. Threaded the needle there, frustratingly. Still no hostiles there. Right. Let's continue at a head standard. Angle of the bow is wrong. It must be. Must be where I'm struggling. Coming at seven knots. Really need someone down to the engine room so I could get some better speed. Come on, lads. Need a bit of whack. Okay. So we'll give this another try. All torpedoes are warm. Let's give it another go. Skipper. Let's see. Manual mode. So we're still locked onto this guy. Angle of the bow must be wrong. We're going to go for the statometer again. Set it to the ghost ship. It's higher than this one. Again with the attack periscope, a bit higher for us. Water line is about there. Set. Now it is set at one nautical mile. Angle on the bow. He's like coming towards me ever so slightly, because I can see the front windows. So my angle of the bow was off. Well, it was off previously. Let's go course. And set it this way. Like ever so slightly. Like there? Question mark? This might not be the right ship. You don't... I don't... It's got to be. It's got the tapered... Ooh, does it have the tapered rear? Am I even shooting at the right ship anymore? I wonder if I was identifying the wrong ship. That doesn't even look like the right name. it was this one. So hard to tell. I've got to really press my... Got like the, that's called like the Annelis or whatever it's called. That's got a long name. What's the ship we're at? The MV Goya or something like that? The first ship was Norwegian. That's Norwegian. It's like not the right Norwegian ship. This one? Kind of being straddled by a destroyer. I think it's probably this one. I think it was this one. Yeah, this one has the tapered rear. I'm pretty sure this is our target. Okay. So let's take a look at angle on the bow then. Flip a coin, yeah, I know, right? Let's go statometer again. This is me learning how to do this. And game reckons two nautical miles. Speed, we're going to... We're going to say is that that. So they've got to still be making five knots. Course, like pretty much bang on. We're going to say 91 degrees. Flip a coin. That's the one. Right. Let's uh, let's go with this T4 oh, torpedo. Yeah. We'll give it full crank. It's going to hit that destroyer. Let's give it a try. Let's see if we're on target at least. Fine. We're shooting like all of our torpedoes at this guy. I don't really mind. This is just me trying to learn. That looks better. Oh, just passed him again. Same exact thing. I think this is definitely the right ship though. Oh, this isn't, that isn't even the right ship anymore. Which ship am I leaving shooting at? I've, I've like totally lost my ship. 
That's the Angelis. Where is my ship? That's the SS Bardi. That's the forward ship. MV Goya, there it is. Slippery batter. They are slower. So let's say four knots, shall we? Team four loaded, I. Right, let's call it four knots. Call it four knots. Go for another one. Preheating torpedoes. Don't really want you to use a T2. It's a miss. I am well aware. Soon you will be one-shotting merchants. Yep. If you shoot them all, they can't go right. I should really be firing a spread, to be fair. That's the MV Goya. I'm on the right target. Get those preheated. I wonder. Oh, I think. It, I wonder if it's because I'm making ten knots. I don't think it is. I think you only need to be still to take speed, don't you? We're going to call it four knots, and we're going to see if that's any better. Let's see how we do. Give it a try. We're calling it four knots now, chat. Speed. Let's go for it. Angle of the bow is wrong. Let's have another look. Is it wrong? Maybe something more like that. Let's go a bit steeper. That angle only works if you are facing... Sorry? So that angle only works... If you are facing him, but since you are at 90 degrees, you should crank the angle to 90 degrees. He is coming towards me ever so slightly, though. That's the only thing. He is definitely closing. Because I can see the front. I'm going to go with this. We've changed the speed to four knots. Let's see if that works. Oh my fucking god. Okay, well that was well... <laughs> We're getting worse! getting much much worse unless this is the ship that I'm after I don't think it is I'm like Jesus what's the number on top of the periscope I have no idea to be honest I am bad at manual TDC I'm going to hit Dover keep in mind your course and speed in relation to the target this is why World War One, World War Two submarines attempted to face the bow to the broadside of the target why is the angle negative I've got no idea I've got no idea I don't understand it really that's an obvious miss. Let's swing it round. Let's turn in. And then give it a head uh, full stop. Keep warming those up. We're just going to keep going until we finally hit the thing. Get out of the water. It doesn't help that the sea, sta sea state is so choppy. Right, they're going to be somewhere to our right. Here we go. That's the MV Goya. Right, lock. We're locked. Right. So it's definitely five knots. Definitely five knots. It's the angle and the. It's always angle on bow for me. Always the angle on the bow that I suck at. Always get it wrong. Even when I used to play Silent Hunter, I used to really struggle with angle on the bow. Would we say that was 90 degrees? Or am I just misunderstanding how this... Rotate the disc to visually match the course of your target. See, I, I would have said that was about right. I wouldn't have said it was like more extreme, like this way. I would have said, like, should we just call it 90 degrees? But what is your periscope? What do you mean, what is my periscope? Add the numbers from your periscope... Chat's coming up with suggestion. I'll just set that just so I can change my thing here. There we go. So that's like 50, 45. Set the angle to 5 o'clock, you reckon? 
Surely that's not right. That's not right, is it? Rotate the disc to visually match the course of your target. I thought I'm visually trying to match it to this. If I set it to there, that's never going to hit. Is it? No, it's the opposite. Have you tried doing it correctly? I'm trying to. You should have checked the video I sent you. I did, Lekker, but I didn't really pay attention. Does the white thing show the direction that the periscope is pointing and the heading of the U-boat? I have no idea what this white thing is. It doesn't really explain it. Tebow, thank you for the party of 10. 40? Wants me to do this. Oh, yeah. Not like that. <laughs> you set an angle on 40. Minus 40? No. Surely not. Can you link the tutorial? Seems the white thing is the same as the periscope, would you say? Is it? We're facing southwest at the moment. Facing south. Oh, it's all very confusing because we're facing southeast. I do not understand maritime things. Maths. Is it me or is Quebec mics higher in pitch? Shouldn't be. If it try refreshing Twitch. Hmm. <laughs> I don't think I understand this instrument very well. I think this is where I'm going wrong. In my mind, you're just supposed to set this, rotate the disc to visually match the course of your target. So, the course, the course of this guy is going like left, um, and I can see. A little bit of the front of his bow. So I can see, like, the front windows and stuff, which makes me think that he's going something like that. 104. But I am at periscope 50. But it doesn't say that. <laughs> or 40. It just says to rotate the disc to visually match your target. I can see what that... I can see that. But it doesn't say to use that for this tool. You are setting the angle on the periscope, but you should be setting your own direction of travel. I don't think I can. I can't seem to interact with this in any other way. Hmm. It doesn't say, but it works that way. I think the compass is constant, it's degrees on the map. You should use the numbers on top of your periscope to orient yourself in relation. I guess so. So what number should I set this to, chat? By, by chat's reckoning. We'll give it a try. What number should I set this to? I have to look, if you whisper me that link, Saffron, I'll have a look at it. Set it to 40. Positive 40? Negative 40. You set it to negative 50. Like that. To the 4 o'clock. I'm getting so many answers from chat. <laughs> okay, we're going to go with Saffron. Set. We're going to launch. Let's go for... Do I have any... Fat? We'll go with T1. 2-2. Two, two. Let's give this a try. We'll see if this goes anywhere near it. Oh, what the fuck have I just done there? Map. There we go. Right. That looks promising. It did, in fact, miss. I wonder if that's because the speed is still set to 4. Try setting that back to 5 and then we'll shoot another one. So, uh, shoot another T1. This is, just an, this is just an educational experience now. Are people like angry? <laughs> not, not you guys in chat. I know you guys in chat are angry. The, uh, I wonder if that's it. Science experiment. Does the white thing show where the periscope is pointing? I have no idea. 
the um, instrumentation is too small for me to re really be able to read the bearing. That looks a little bit more promising in terms of speed. Low air quality. Oh. Oh, did we get a hit? Oh, we did get a hit. Look at that. There we go. So the speed. Okay, let's get another one out. I don't know whether they're making the same... And I just want to shoot again. So yeah, my speed was off. But you're absolutely... Okay, so you're right in terms of that. Okay. I gotta, I'm gotta take an educational experience with that. Right, we need to turn away. I'm just gonna shoot another one. It'll be fine. Check angle again. Totally fine. I'm just gonna go with that. And then we're gonna yeet the fuck out. Like, at, at a head flank. I need to kind of run the oxygen thing. Do diggy who. Release this. Let go of that so I can come... Give me a con character. There we go. Get up. We're gonna run the ventilators. Angle on the bow was off. I whispered you a link. Fantastic. I should watch Midway again. Yeah, looks like I need to m better understand angle on the bow because it looks like my interpretation of what I'm supposed to be doing with it is totally wrong. Which is fair enough. It's the first time I've done manual TDC on this, so we'll just run that. We're going to be very loud, but, you know, hopefully we'll be okay. Jesus. What the fuck? Did I just get... Did I just get diddled? Holy fucking shit. Right. Repairing, repairing. Uh, stern compressor, pump control. Can I get, like... Can't seem to control him. I oh, know, I'm already playing nerd, that's why. Let's change to, like, kit skipper. Leave and come down. I guess I just got owned by something? No idea what I just got owned by. Convoy spotted. Where was the damage? Damage was to the stern. Probably want to run those pumps. Oh, it's broken. Okay, that is not great. <laughs> pumps are broken. You are leaking. Yep. I got detected. I don't think I'm surfaced. I should be at PD. Can't really check at the moment. Leave position. Oh, well. We're sinking out big time. Well, I think we'll just call that there. <laughs> save us save us dying. We'll just go back to the main menu. I need to have a really good read, or at least try and better understand the uh, the angle on the bow thing, because that looks like it. That looks like the big thing. The, the time on target with the stopwatch, that's okay. That's simple. The, um, the other one, what am I thinking of? I've, I've literally just lost the ability to construct a sentence. Where are we going? So, angle on the bow. That's the one where I'm struggling. I think you've got it figured out. I definitely don't, Zare, because basically chat chose the number. I don't know why it is 40, why it was negative 40, because that was not how it says to use the instrument. <laughs> um, I now know that there is a, the, the little white thing is relevant, but it didn't say that it was relevant. So I need to go and have a look and try and sort that out. Angle on the bow is the hardest part to get because the convoy was on your starboard side. Again, instructions are very vague, I suppose. That, well, it's not really supposed to be played like this unless you know what you're doing. The tutorial is more accommodating of the third person play style. But we'll give this another bash at some point. Hopefully when I kind of understand angle on the bow. It's all part of the fun. Um, instructions on Steam page that I gave are clear. Thank you very much, Saffron. Did you send it me in a whisper? Because that would be very helpful. But yeah, I'm going to love you and leave you there, chat. I'm going to go and have a read over that. Um, I don't know when I'll next be on U-Boat, but I might do a little bit of a test in between just to make sure that, you know, I'm kind of getting it. Um, so if I can just, like, I'll probably end up playing for, like, a couple of hours just out of my own time um, just to see whether or not I'm on the right track. But that should be better. Uh, the white thing is your own ship in your direction of travel. Lovely. I just didn't know whether that impacted the angle on the bow at all. Because it didn't say that it did in the little blurb on the device. Did I have fun though? Um, it's not. It's a challenge. And I like that. Um, in the same way Exanima's combat is like really funky. Like um, it was, uh, you know, rewarding is the word. Like landing that torpedo hit on the first one, I guess just was blind luck. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll roll with that next time. So, um, 
Q, it was negative 50 because you were parallel with the convoy, so you had 40 degrees on the periscope, so 40 plus 50 gave you... Why would the 40 plus the 50 give me the negative? Gave you the 90 degree... Oh. Okay. Uh, again, I'll have to have a read. So, I'm going to I'm gonna bugger off. You reduce the number. Why? <laughs> Why do you reduce the number? <laughs> Why don't you add it? There's probably a good reason for it. I'm just being thike as pig shite. Right. Who else is online? Soviet's playing. Soviet's playing? I don't care what Soviet's playing. Uh, SWAT is playing. Hold fast nations at war. So let's pass you on to Mr. SWAT Knight. I did an awful job. But no, it's all right. An educational experience. I, I thought I thought I understand how the understood how the statometer worked. I have been proven wrong. Let's control C that and let's raid. You have minus forty, minus fifty equals minus ninety, but it wasn't minus forty. It was it was it was positive forty on the periscope. <laughs> I'm so confused. Anyway, I'll figure it out. Thing I'll check the um. The link saffron. I'm sure that'll be more help. So yeah, this is Mr. Swat Knight. Everybody have a good evening. I'll see you tomorrow. I don't know what the hell we're going to be playing tomorrow. Something, I'm sure. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll catch you then for that. So take care of yourselves, folks. Stay safe and all. And I'll, uh, I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.